in this tribe, there are 3,000 women and only seven men. The men in this tribe have to live in the trees to hide and defend themselves from the women, or else they might face the consequences of being sexually abused by these women because of the lack of men. These women have control over everything, including men. The concept of marriage does not exist in this tribe, and women change the small number of men at intervals to take their turn. What I mean is that in this tribe, women use these men turn by turn to reach everyone. They have no choice because the men are only seven. So one woman is not allowed to keep one man to herself. The only task of men who are part of this tribe is reproduction. They don't do any other things. They don't work nor provide. Being seen in small numbers, the women feed the men with good foods to maintain their general health and to keep them active and strong. In this tribe, women take care of men and provide for them and the children. But children in this tribe belong exclusively to the women, not the man or the men. Women tie a ribbon around men's hands to show everyday ownership and to symbolize love. The ribbon means that a woman has possession of the man that day. The next day, another woman will take over. This tribe has a very low reproduction because of the few numbers of men. And those who reproduce here keep giving birth to female genders. So as you are killing yourself to have a woman, don't forget that there is a tribe where women are killing themselves to have a man. Irony of life. I know some of you have been waiting for me to share location. Listen, I will not share location. I will not. You can make research about this tribe. See you in my next video.